Hi, welcome to the final part. And in this level, we're only going to be getting one Pizza Planet token. But it's important, because it lets me talk about something that's important to 3D video games, especially early ones. The Pizza Planet token we're going to get is right in the very center of the level. Across all this green goo. It's Slinky. But this time, instead of asking us to get five thingies, he's going to ask us to run on this dirt pathway through the goo. And if we touch the goo, we lose the challenge and have to start over. This is a really, really long winding pathway, and it's really, really easy to goof up. And in case you're curious, you can't take shortcuts by jumping. If you jump, you get d disqualified immediately. And you can't walk slowly and carefully, because the timer's actually kind of strict. And this is actually some, um... This is actually some really precise movement for early 3D platformers. Which makes me think that John Burton didn't quite understand the target audience of the game. Because keep in mind, in the original PS1 and PC ports, you had to have 40 Pizza Planet tokens to finish the game. Which means cutting off too many potential Pizza Planet tokens is really bad. That means the kid won't be able to finish the game. And since a lot of kids had PS1 controllers without analog support, that probably made this way, way harder. So the final boss is actually three bosses in one, and I thought this was a really, really cool piece of design. Because it has the attack patterns of all three bosses, which are really simple by themselves, but together they actually form enough of a challenge to be one big boss. So it's good game design. But um, unfortunately now it's time that you learn the truth about the bosses in this game. If you die during a boss battle, as we're about to, you just respawn in the boss battle, and you don't lose any progress. Assuming you were diligent about picking up extra lives, this means that you can completely tank this final boss, since none of the other bosses are very easy to die during. We have eight chances to beat this boss. And we don't lose any progress. So yeah, I just tank all of it. It's kind of an anti-climax, but I can't help that the game, um... The game wasn't designed with this in mind, I can't help that. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at Toy Story 2 with me.